Big money on the line today. Hello, everybody. This is what happens when you do not unmute your microphone. All good here. Welcome, one and all. We are going to have a good time. So excited. We've been building to this for almost a week, and now it is here. The anniversary of Disneyland's opening way, way, way back when. And now we're here together today to see what you know about it. And that is exciting. And here we are. I see people talking about their Disney experiences, what they love. Somebody said there's not an attraction I don't like. I agree. I like every attraction at the Disney parks, even the ones that are a little slower. Like, those are great. Here's a, here's, if you are visiting Disney California Adventure, here is a little tip for you. When it gets hot, especially during the summer months, it gets hot. You're walking around all day. If you need a break and there isn't a big line, which there usually isn't, go on the Little Mermaid ride because that is a nice air-conditioned ride. You can sort of go through it and, uh, and cool off. When you come out, you're ready for more. Because a lot of the other ones that are indoor uh, in Disney Cali California Adventure, there's a longer wait. So you don't want that. But on this date, as I said, the original Disneyland opened its gates to guests for the first time. And we're celebrating with our annual game all about Disney parks with huge money on the line. Welcome to Daily Trivia Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. This game is an e-ticket ride with a thrilling grand prize. Take a look. Oh, yeah. That is 2,500 big ones. And everyone who can correctly answer these 10 multiple choice Disney Parks trivia questions will split it. In this game, you'll earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. Here's the deal, folks, especially for you newcomers. If you win the game today, you'll be earning bonus SB throughout. Those will be automatically added on top of your share of the grand prize. However, if you don't win the grand prize, no reason to leave early because, like I said, you're accruing these bonus SB and you have to claim them at the end of the game in order to keep them. That is why you do not leave early. Special tip for all of you. Also, the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize. Two ways to do that. One is using SB. The other is with a free rejoin and a tip for you. If you don't have free rejoins or if you want more and who doesn't, click the plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening and get free rejoins by watching videos. Finally, each game we give away five 100 SB prizes to five players who win and claim while you stay till the end. At least one SB in the game. Here are the winners from Tuesday, all of whom have already been credited. They already have their 100 SB. And if you don't see your name up there, don't despair. Just keep playing and claiming because next time the winner could be you. Your attention, please. The Disneyland Limited, now leaving for a grand circle tour of the Trivia Kingdom. Please stow the comments beneath your seat. Here is question number one. What term is used by Disney Parks cast members for the people who visit the parks? Are they called interlopers, guests, or the onslaught? The term that Disney Parks cast members use to refer to, to refer to people who visit the parks. Walt wanted Disneyland to be an experience above and beyond the standard amusement park, and that centers around the experience of the people who visit the park, and they're always called guests. That's right, you're a guest, a special guest when you are at the Disney parks. 93% of you getting that one right. I'm a little concerned that 5% went with interlopers. Both interlopers and the onslaught would be terrible ways to refer. Maybe you worked at Disney and that's what you called them behind the scenes, but we're talking about out front what we all know they refer to, not the secret things you may have done. We have over 17,300 people in grand prize contention. After that one, not bad, almost 18,000 of you here playing the game. And every question you get right from here on in is worth one bonus SB. Let's get into that right now with question number two. Which of the following attractions can be found in New Orleans or Liberty Square at both Disneyland and the Magic Kingdom? Is it the Mad Tea Party, the Jungle Cruise, or the Haunted Mansion? It's in New Orleans Square in Disneyland and Liberty Square in the Magic Kingdom. 
Princess Tiana now rules the roost in New Orleans Square, but it's also the home of Pirates of the Caribbean and Disney's spookiest attraction, the Haunted Mansion. That is the answer, the Haunted Mansion. 60% of you getting that one right. Well done. 23% going with the Jungle Cruise. That is in Adventureland. And the Mad Tea Party is in Fantasyland, right behind King Arthur's Carousel. Well, a little further back. It's a little bit closer to Mr. Toe's Wild Ride on the other side of that. Anyway, of the 40% of you that got eliminated, pretty much everybody rejoined, along with some of our stragglers, people who had not yet come into the game but are here now. We are happy to have you. Still over 16,000 people in grand prize contention. And don't forget, bonus SB abound from here on out because you're going to get one right now if you correctly answer question number three. Here it is. What is the term for the group of creatives who design and build Disney Parks attractions? Are they the Imagineers, the Dreamcatchers, or the Idea Astronauts? What is the term for those creatives? Wed Enterprises was created to build and continually innovate the Disney parks. People like Alice Davids, Bob Gurr, and Ex Atencio helped define what it means to be an Imagineer. They're called the Imagineers. Now it's Disney Imagineerings. It was Wed Enterprises for Walt Elias Disney. It was the company he formed around the parks. 95% of you knew that one. Well done. A drink catchers would work. Idea astronauts, they all sort of make sense. They're in that sort of family. But no, they're the Imagineers because they imagine things and then engineer them. And the number of things that they've innovated is truly astounding. But we're going to innovate our way into question number four. Here it is. Worth one bonus, SB. The voice behind the Disney Parks ghost host can be heard narrating what other attraction? Is it Indiana Jones, Adventure Through Inner Space, or Innoventions? It's a little challenging one for you, possibly. The great Paul Fries, who is the ghost host, along with several of the Pirates of the Caribbean, showed his scientific side as the narrator of Adventure Through Inner Space. That is the answer. 44% of you getting that one done. Well done. You got that. 41% of you going with Indiana Jones. Unfortunately, the Temple of the Hidden Eye existed after uh, Paul Fries. He, he had passed by then, unfortunately. But we do have, uh, what is it, Jonathan Rice davies Is that his name? Who plays Sala? He's all over that ride. That's pretty cool. Of the 56% of you got eliminated, over half of you back in. Still about 11,000 people in grand prize contention. And we're on to question number five, our halfway point worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow can be heard in which Disney attraction? Is it Space Mountain, Mission Space, or Carousel of Progress? There's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. One of the Sherman Brothers' more whimsical songs, and that's saying something, was used in two Disney Parks attractions. It was in Disneyland's defunct Interventions, we mentioned them earlier, and the Magic Kingdom's Carousel of Progress. That is the answer. 78% of you getting that one right. Uh, if you watch the trailer for this game that went out on social media today, you heard some of the Space, uh, Space Mountain that... That's really more the music you hear there. No lyrics in Space Mountain, even when they turned it into the Star Wars version of Space Mountain. So there you go. The 22% of you eliminated, about a quarter of you coming back in. We are on now to question number six. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Which of the following Disney Parks attractions was an e-ticket? Is it Flight to the Moon, TWA Rocket to the Moon, or Peter Pan's Flight? If you don't know what an e-ticket is, I am about to explain it to you. Both Disneyland and Walt Disney World originally required individual tickets for each ride, classified as A through E. E was the most expensive, the biggest ticket rides, like the TWA Rocket to the Moon. That is the answer. That giant rocket that was in Tomorrowland had a TWA on it. It was sponsored. 25% of you getting that one right. Oh, my goodness, 75% of you eliminated but stick around bonus sb to be had don't leave early we do have people rejoining from that about a third of you coming back in and we are moving on to question number seven now worth one business one bonus sb if you get it right it's serious business but bonus sb here we go where would you go to visit disney's aulani resort and spa is it japan hawaii or france where is the aulani resort and spa Never been, but I certainly would like to go. 
Why worry about lines and getting dinner reservations at Blue Bayou when you can have a Disney-fied vacation experience in Hawaii with Aulani? Hawaii is the answer. 94% of you getting that one right. Well done. Japan does have, I believe, Tokyo Disneyland. They do not have the Aulani Resort and Spa. That is a that's got to be fun. It's got to be a great, like, family-friendly Hawaii experience. Uh, some of you have probably been there or might be talking about it in the comments right now. But we got to move on to question number eight. Only three left in this game. This one worth one bonus SB. If you get it right, here is question number eight. Teresa Salcedo achieved what Disneyland first in 1979? First person to get married in the park. First person to ride Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Or first baby born in the park. What could it possibly be? Two years after Disneyland opened, mothers were given a place to change and care for their babies with the Baby Center. 22 years after that, the nurses were put to the test when the first baby was born in the park. She was born there. That's right. She's. It must be on her birth certificate, Disneyland. How cool is that? 76% of you getting that one right. Well done. I believe from the story, both uh, mother and child were fine. So it can be cool, but also very inconvenient place. To have a child, I get it. Even though it's Disney and they have a lot of cool stuff for the guests, that that's maybe a bridge too far. We're moving on to question number nine. Second to last question here for you right now. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. What year did Disneyland first open? Is it 1955, 1915, or 1995? We're looking for is the anniversary. It happened today on this day in that year. Partly an homage to his humble Missouri upbringing, partially an answer to the fans who wanted to come visit the studios, and partially based on Tivoli Gardens in Europe, Walt's vision finally became a reality on July 17th, 1955. 2,963 of you have made it this far, and you are ready for our final question. And before we get to that question... Did you know that there are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks Daily Trivia outside of our live games? It is true. One is through our second game mode called the Daily Trivia Challenge. That is a quick, hostless version of our game that you can play on your schedule up to twice per day, every day. Second is by clicking the More Ways to Earn button wherever you find it in the app. Now, both of these get you SB towards your daily goal, but that second way, that More Ways to Earn, that is where the tap joy wall is. And you're going to see at the end of this game, after you claim your bonus SB or after you get your winning prize, a little thing pop up for tap joy. You're going to click that. It's going to pop you out, ask if you want to come back in. You say yes, then click more ways to earn so that you can get going doing daily tap joy. It will help you check daily discover off of your to-do list every day. They're simple, easy to complete offers. The SB will rack up faster than you realize, and you're going to have a good time doing it. For those of you who are new to this app, I preach this all the time, building winning habits around Swagbucks. I've worked for this company for 14 years. I know what I'm talking about. Having a winning strategy every day is important, and building tap joy into your daily routine is part of that winning strategy for you. Check it out after the game and every single day, please. It's for you. I'm doing this for you. Speaking of which, there are 3,001 of you vying for a piece of a $2,500 grand prize. That is huge. Over 17,000 people stuck around to the very end, and I got one more bonus SB up for grabs if you can correctly answer question number 10. Here it is. What system replaced the Fast Pass at Disney Parks? Is it Hurry Up and Wait, Disney, Disney Genie, or Paper Tickets? What replaced the Fast Pass? Hurry Up and Wait, Disney Genie, or Paper Tickets? The FastPass system was revolutionary in the way it allowed guests to save a place in line for more crowded attractions, but now you can do all your planning with Disney Genie. They're trying to make it easier for you, I bet. 2,255 of you knew that answer, and you are splitting our grand prize today. That is big money coming your way. Let's meet some of these grand prize winners, each of you taking home 111 SB in grand prize money, plus the bonuses you earned along the way. Heavenly's five, you are a winner, and you must be in trivia heaven right now because you are in the winner's circle. Soul Punks 95, congratulations. Volleyball Brit 3, congratulations. And nothing but a lit degree? How about a win in Daily Trivia Live? That's huge. And of course, Mickey Love 19. 
I don't know if that's about Mickey Mouse, but you must be loving Mickey right now because you won the game today. Congratulations to all of our grand prize winners and those of you who claimed your bonus SB. Now that you have all these new SB in your account, you know what to do with them. Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. You have done it yet again. Thank you all for playing this huge game today. Come back tomorrow for more fun and more trivia and more SB. This has been Daily Trivia Live, and have a great evening, everybody.